mortgage rate projections for the rest of 2025 right after this. Hey there, my name is Ryan Skeggs and this is the Mortgage Minute. This channel is dedicated to everything mortgage, real estate, and interest rates. And we're diving in the projection for the 2025 mortgage rates and housing. So let's get right into it. Right now, here we're at today, 6.79% according to Freddie Mac. That's where we're at today. You can click the link in the description below uh, and be able to see the Freddie Mac website. You can see their October outlook. You can schedule a call with me, all kinds of good stuff. Click that link below, all kinds of good resources for you. Now, where are interest rates going? Well, everything that I'm gonna show you today is projecting interest rates in the mid to high fives. So. Where we're at today, as I mentioned, 6.79. We're gonna talk a little bit more about kind of where we're at today. So before I get into that, make sure and click that like button, click that subscribe, and click that bell icon to be notified as I'm putting out weekly videos on the channel. Now, as I mentioned, where are we today? So one of the first things I want to include is first time home buyers. First time home buyers are taking more and more share of this market. There's a recent article and I've got it here to the side that first time home buyers, according to Freddie Mac, now have 53% of the market. Now that's for finance and that's not those cash deals that are going on. So that's good news. But the struggles or the challenges that first time home buyers are seeing, and I'll put another chart here, is that the affordability is at an absolute low right now. First time starter homes are more and more out of range. If you look at this chart, 63% increase in a starter home price versus a luxury home price. So that means a luxury home price is going this way, first time home buyer price going this way, right? And then all of a sudden the first time home buyer price is way higher, which is creating this affordability challenge for many, many people. If you're <laughs> struggling with that, I'd love to hear your comments below. Now. The other thing we have to think about is where are rates at today and where do we project them to go? So we just had the election, we just had a Fed rate cut, so we already know some of these certainties that are going on that are gonna be around in 2025. With that said, and I'll put the chart up here, hovering in that mid to high sixes, but the projections show that by the end of the year, we're gonna be closer to that six and a half, and you can see 6.18. I'll probably put a little arrow here so you can see it. Uh, again, we are higher than that, and it is the beginning of November, so that's only 60 days away, and a majority of these big banks and institutions like Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac are projecting interest rates lower. Now, the reason he came to this video is where do we see rates in 2025? So a majority of these are all gonna show rates in that mid to high 5% range. That could be anywhere between 5.7, 5.6. You can see that in Q1, Q2, Q3 of 2025. So absolutely, we're gonna see lower rates. I think every dollar that you could bet that will we see lower rates between November of 2024 till spring or summer of 2025? Yeah, I think you're gonna win that bet. Exactly where they kind of shuffle out to, time will tell. Now, between now and the end of the year, or maybe even like first quarter of 2025, we absolutely still could see rates rise. There is still a lot of inflation. There's still a lot of uncertainty in the equity markets. Even though they're hitting these all-time highs, people are pulling themselves out of bonds, putting it into that. We're still looking at, do we have a handle on inflation? And again, mortgage rates are not dependent on what the Fed is doing. That is a leading indicator, but not a specific correlation between the two. The Fed can lower interest rates as a 30-year fixed mortgage is going higher. That is plausible. That actually makes fiscal sense, even though it might not make logical sense to us out there. Now, let's finish up here. And in summary, where do we see rates going? So by summer, we're looking at a mid 5%, maybe five and a half, 5.75 5 uh, on the average 30 year fixed. If we are there, one of my kind of points of contention or reading the tea leaves is that I believe we're going to have a very hot market in 2025 with the election, with some of these housing issues, Hopefully the housing inventory begins to loosen up because if we do get those mid 5%, we're going to have people with a lower interest rate that are going to be willing to give up their 3 or 4% rate, sell their house, find a new one, and be only a couple percent above. 
Right now, if you've got a 3% rate, it's really tough to swallow a 7 or 8% rate. I am contending, and my uh, suggestion would be is that at a mid fives rate, so a 5.5% rate or something like that, just even sub six, we're gonna see a lot more buyers come to the table. That should continue to drive up prices because you're gonna continue to have that buyer demand. I wanna know what you think. Put your comments below. Make sure and click that link below in my uh, in my subject there or in my description. You can go in, sign up for my free newsletter. And again, I've got a ton of resources there as well. So thanks so much for tuning in. Stay safe and we'll see each other again very, very soon.